Well, for most adults today, I guess that's you and me, Craig. <laughs> <I guess so. laughs> Their first memories of TV were of a kid's show. They filled the mornings and the afternoons. I remember them so well. Craig Worth went through the vaults, and I mean the old vaults, for some rare glimpses of the shows. And as you can see, he's with me now in the studio. Well, and of course, in Utah, this meant Fireman Frank, Captain Scotty, Captain Casey, Hotel Balderdash, remember that? And other folks you watched while you ate breakfast. And when you ran home from school, you saw them all. It's worth watching tonight. When we start the video time machine of Utah's first TV station and zoom back even further than the 1970s and the 1960s and go clear back to 1948, we find one format that lasted nearly 50 years. Oh yes, the kids' TV shows. Fireman Frank was one of the early heroes of kids' TV. You better get your hose over here. My nose? No, your hose. Oh, your my, hose. my hose, yeah. Everyone knew Fireman Frank, but few kids knew his real name, Ron Ross. I was on the Empire State Building once, and a little girl ran up and said, Hi, Fireman Frank. And, of course, he had a message for each kid. Do not play with matches. You never talk down to a child. You get down on their level, so I was either down on my knees talking to them or lifting them up. Fireman Frank is back again this year, helping children everywhere Monday through Friday, 6.45 till 8 a.m. Now, I started my career at Channel 4 on the Fireman Frank Show when the station was located right here on Social Hall Avenue 44 years ago. And there were kids all over the street trying to get into the station and on to the show. My job at the Social Hall Channel 4 was to ring the fire bell to start the show. Captain KC also commanded the kids at Channel 4. You joined his club promising to be truthful, to share with your sister and to help mom. You wrote the captain who displayed your letters on the deck of the SS KC Picks, as we were KCPX back then. We'll call you Captain Scotty. Then there was Captain Scotty, an astronaut who visited Martians in space and kids at the Earthly Supermarket. Children lined up for hours and hours to be there to, to get a chance to see him. No matter how long it took, he, he made sure he saw all the children that were there. Captain Scotty, an important member of the KCPX crew. And finally, two BYU students checked into Hotel Balderdash. A generation knew Harvey, Cannonball, and their sidekick, Raymond. Hotel Balderdash, I get my morning started right. Hello, welcome to Hotel Balderdash. They did 480 shows a year, over 240 mornings and afternoons. How did they do it? Harvey says Raymond was a good source of material. He would choose chew bazooka bubblegum. <laughs> he'd bring in all the rappers, and we'd do bits off of the bazooka bubblegum rappers. <laughs> hey, did you hear the one about the two blood cells? <laughs> that joke. Yeah, they loved in vain. <laughs> they taped five days of shows, all in one day a week, with 100 kids crammed into the studio. Hook up, butter dash. People could actually come down and be a part of the whole show. Knock, knock. Who's there? Tuba! Tuba who? Tuba toothpaste! <laughs> it's hard to imagine these shows disappeared. We had so much fun. It was that simple. Because videotape was so expensive, few actual shows survive. Besides, who thought it would ever end? Well, it was those early morning news shows and the expansion of such shows as Good Morning America ended a number of the kids' shows, as well as a change in demographics. But tonight, we're all kids, and we remember them tonight. Boy, we sure are. People, kids just couldn't get enough of them, and, and we did them all live in studio. Well, we taped them all in one day. Well, yeah, yeah, but yeah, and they were all done like all the mistakes, all the, uh, I could tell you some stories, but <laughs> probably We're not probably, right now. Probably not fit for airing <laughs> right now. What a look back. Thank you very much, Thank Craig. You.